The other day I showed you how to make some really nice pilipili ya kukanga and I also showed you how to store it. Using this ice cube tray is one of the methods that I like to store my pilipili ya kukanga and today we are going to lose it because I want some pilipili ya kukanga but in a sauce that is a little bit not that chili so today we are going to be loosening it and with me i have my list of ingredients from this corner i have some garlic i have some onions coriander stems coriander leaves i have some salt i have my cooking oil i have my pilipili kanga that is frozen and here i have my tomato paste because where the price of tomatoes in this nairobi of ours where it's just ridiculous and without further ado let's get started <music> So once my pan is hot, I'll go in with my cooking oil and I'm just going to add just a few drops. Then once this is also hot, I'll go in with my onions and also my garlic. Then once the garlic is fragrant, I'll add in my coriander stems. Then as this cooks, I'll add in my tomato paste and I'll mix it with some hot water. So you can always use your tomatoes, but if at all you do not have the tomatoes, or the tomatoes in your place are also expensive, please use some tomato paste. That will also work. Then I'm just going to add one cube because in a kwanga kani sana. On a normal day, I will make a stew and once my food is ready, I'll just put this on top and let it melt into the food. But today, I just wanted something like a sauce and that's why I'm doing this. So I'm going to keep stirring it until it all dissolves. Then I'm going to test for salt and then yeah, it will be basically done. I'm also going to add some little bit of water and the amount, amount of water that you add into this recipe totally depends on how much sauce you want. So this is almost melting all of it. just needs a little bit more of salt then I've reduced the heat and I'm just going to let this simmer for about three to five minutes till the oil starts floating on top and our sauce will be ready so this is what you want and you can see this looks yummy and add in a few coriander leaves then this is ready and I'm going to switch this off then I'll set it aside so that it can cool so that by the time my other food is ready this will be cold enough
As usual, always remember to salt your avocado. I start my pilipili kanga with some greens and an avocado and some ugali and let's dig in. Wow, this looks delicious. Hmm. <laughs> it's just hitting the right spot. Hmm. 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 Though it's not as chilly as when you're taking it alone as a cube, but it's really doing the thing. Mm. And this will really go well with some cabbage as well. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. Wow. Mm -hmm. And as usual, let's test the whole combination. Mm. And that's it for today's episode. If you want to know how to make the chili cube, please check out the link in the description box or the pin comment. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe if you haven't. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye.